Okay, so when you open up the game, you get this menu, you can press start, or you can press how to play, and if you press how to play, it'll show you how to play, and then you can go back to the start menu. So we press start, we're going to be dropped into level 1. Okay, here I can move around with the arrow keys, and um, as you can see, I animated the character to walk in whichever direction you're going. Also, I've animated a punch with the spacebar, so when you press the spacebar, the character will punch. And the punch is for attacking enemies, so you get near them and you can punch them until they die. Okay, so here the main objective in the game is to find the keys and unlock the door to the next level. So here we come up and we see our first key. And you just walk into it to collect it. Okay, so as you can see, the first level is not too difficult because I wanted to make it simple for the player to learn how to play the game at a slow pace. Okay, so here we're coming up on another enemy. As you can see, the enemy shoots the bullets wherever the player is, so when the player moves, the enemy adjusts its target. You just defeat that, and then here we see a health pack. We just collect that by walking into it, and it will replenish the player's health by 5 points, up to a maximum of 15 points. This can be seen on the top left corner um, in the player's health bar, which indicates uh, the player's health. Okay, so here we see the door, and once we go through it, we're going to be dropped into level 2. Okay, so here in level 2, I've increased the difficulty from level 1 by adding a few more enemies. Also, I've added a gate, which you can see in a little bit. Okay, so here we can see a gate, and this gate is preventing us from getting the key. So what you need to do is defeat all the enemies within a level, and we're doing that now. Once we defeat all the enemies, the gate will be gone, and now we can get the key. Okay, and with that key, we get to go to level 3! Okay, so here in level 3, I've increased the difficulty again by adding more enemies, and there's also a gate. And then to balance out the increase in difficulty, I've added two health packs within the level. Okay, here I'll just speed through defeating some of the enemies, since it's a bit repetitive. Okay, so now here's our next door, but as we can see this time, we don't have a key. So, when we try to enter, it's locked. So, we have to go find the key. Okay, so here we see the key, but it's blocked by a gate since there's still one enemy in the level. So we defeat that, the gate's gone, and we can get the key. Okay, so now that we have the key, we can enter the door and go to the boss level. This is the final level in the game, and it is the most difficult level. Okay, here you can see I've added three health packs, and that's to balance out the difficulty of this level. Um, we're gonna go up, and we see that the key is blocked by the gate, so we do have to defeat all the enemies in the level. Okay, so here we can see the boss. Um, the boss shoots bullets faster than regular enemies, and it takes more punches to defeat. Okay, so here I'm just going to speed through it again. And there you go. Okay, so now that the enemies are all gone, the gate's gone, and we can collect our key. Now that we have the key, we can enter the door, and that's the end of the game. Okay, and here you can press restart, and that will just bring you back to the start menu. And here, if we want, we can start the game again. Okay, here I'm just going to quickly show you what happens if you let the enemy defeat you. 
and lose all your health. Okay, as you can see, it says game over, and you can press restart if you want. And when you press restart, it will just bring you back to the start menu, and you can start over, but you will always have to start from level 1. And for this project, I created all the images and graphics, and for the sound effects and music I used, I will link them in the description box. Thank you for watching!